Oh, yes. Hello, world. What is up? <laughs> Welcome to Build. I'm your host, Matt Forte. We are here live at the Build studio in New York City. I'm so excited. Uh, you can catch our next guest alongside Issa Rae and Marcy Martin as Mr. Marshall in the hilarious new film, Little, as in theaters this Friday. You may also recognize him, I don't know, for his 152-episode run as Adam Newman on The Young and the Restless. And, and incidentally, he's also just wrapped up uh, the third season of one of the most watched shows on television, This Is Us. Uh, I'm, of course, talking about Kevin Pierce himself, the great Justin Hart. Hartley is in the building, everybody. How we feel about that, huh? You excited? You excited? I'm excited. He's an objectively handsome dude. We're going to bring him out in just a second. It's true. Try to argue. You can't. Uh, he's going to come out in a second. But first, before we do, I believe we have a clip from This Is Us. So let's go ahead and run that clip. Yes. Yo, hey, we're making brownies downstairs if you want to. Oh, my God, what happened in here? It's like a Forever 21 exploded. I'm still trying to pick an outfit for yearbook photos. I thought you and Zoe landed on something. We did. What I hated, I hate all my clothes. Okay, well, why don't you tell your mom? I'm sure she'll take you shopping. She's too busy teaching all the time and fighting with my dad. They fighting? Not like yelling fighting, but I can tell. So I'm trying not to bother them with my stuff. Okay. I get that, but you know what? Um, well, you wouldn't be bothering me with your stuff. You know, what do you got? Tess, come on, look, I got a lot more going on up here than people give me credit for. Come on, hit me. Do you remember when I told you I was gay? Mm-hmm, via text, it was very modern of you. <laughs> I thought coming out to you guys would be the hardest part, but instead, I just have a million more questions about myself. Like, what clothes make me feel like the real me? What books should I be reading? What movies should I be seeing? When will I finally decide to tell my friends? What you got? I've never been through what you're going through right now. I mean, I once had to kiss Topher Grace in this indie film that I did, but that wasn't like... So I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know how you're feeling, okay? Because I don't, but, you know, this whole idea of not really knowing who you are deep down inside, that's my life story. Please. No, wait, hold on, hear me out, though. Um, I'll tell you what, one thing that I have learned I don't think we figure out exactly who we are all at once. I think it happens over a long period of time, just like piece by piece, you know? Like, um, okay, take me for instance. A couple of years ago, uh, I get close with your dad and I find a piece of myself in that. And then I meet your aunt and I, and I find another piece of myself. Honey, I think that's sort of how it works, you know? We go through this life slowly but surely just collecting these little pieces of ourselves that we can't really live without until you know, eventually we have enough of them to where we, we feel whole. And you think that'll happen for me? Nah, probably not. I mean, you're not that special. <laughs> Do I think it will happen for you? I know it will happen for you. Tess Pearson, you my niece, have so many years ahead of you to find all of your pieces. Was that corny or did I just, did I nail it? No? Lay down too thick. I nailed it. Yes! <laughs> it felt pretty strong there at the end, yeah. Oh, what a great moment, everybody. The great Justin Harley is right here. Do it up. Come on. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Yeah, of course. This yeah. is fun. Yeah, the, the whole the show doesn't work without you. This is perfect. Uh, yeah, so real happy. quick, um, yeah. Miss Moore's birthday today. No. Is yeah. It really? Oh yeah. Should we sing her happy birthday? I think we should, right? We yeah. Should, yeah, and then we'll yeah, well then we'll let her know. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. whole song. We got the rights. There you go. Well done. And 
That's perfect. She never misses an episode of this show. So I know she's watching right now. Yeah, she just got a big birthday song. Yeah, yeah, what a surprise. Breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> and she's freaking out. I can, I can feel it. Of course. Um, that was incredibly sweet of you to do that for your friend, Andy. I love her. I love all these people. This is like my extended... You know, it's funny. This was my extended family. And then sort of uh, over time, we, we've been going at it over three years now, they become... Uh, family. There's no extension to it. Yeah, they're just family. It's pretty amazing. You guys have a little. Really? On, I imagine there's a little. I think we've talked about, if not us, somebody from this is a, the ongoing text thread with everybody. There are a few of them. Yeah. Yeah. There's a. Oh, there's a little splinter thread. Well, there's there are offshoots. a few, and then I. Uh, I thought there were like four, and then someone was like, <laughs> someone was like, there are like seven of them. And I'm like seven of them. What's going on here? Uh, oh, no. But there are certain ones that, that some of us don't need to be on and certain ones that we all... And there, there's one that we're all on, which is... That's how they explained it to you, so right, they can get out of that situation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's some you just don't need to be on, Jeff. Right, because we're talking about you, sir. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's pretty amazing, man. You know, you have... Uh, you've been working your, your butt off for some time in the industry. You've done a lot of really cool things. Uh, and so to be on, on this show, to have it blow up, become what it is, and have this moment in time, it's, it's got to be a really great feeling. How, how are you doing right now, man? How are you feeling? How is life in general for Justin? Well, thanks. Uh, life is great. Yeah. Life is wonderful. Uh, yeah, it is. Like you said, it's one of these things where you, um, it's not, this isn't, you know, acting is not easy to make a living at. Uh, it's not one of those things where you just say you're going to do it and then you work hard and it happens. There's, there's a lot that goes into it. Uh, the hard work definitely is most of it, but then other things kind of have to fall into place. So you do end up taking, uh, doing jobs sometimes for, I mean, let's be honest, we all do it. You do, you, p bills need to be paid. Yeah. And, um, and then you take some other jobs that are wonderful and for whatever reason they don't turn out the way that you thought they would when you read the script. And then you do other jobs where you're surprised by how well they turned out. Maybe they weren't watched though. Yeah. Maybe it's a wonderful thing and you think it's great and for some reason it didn't find its audience. So to get something this special where, uh, where I believe it's, it's wonderful, I believe it's the best thing on television, and to be working with people that I think are the most talented, most beautiful human beings, um, and to get people to actually watch it is, uh, is sort of lightning in a bottle. And we're all very lucky uh, each and every day, very humbled by this whole thing. It's, this is in, it's incredible. Do you ever feel uh, that your life, in a way, kind of uh, parallels Kevin's in that? And that you have some manis under your belt? Like you're saying you had to pay the bills. <laughs> you had a couple of things. Yeah, you did I, well, I don't there. mean to disparage or disrespect yeah, anything I've done in the past names, at all. Yeah, yeah. Um, because I'm lucky to have, have, have ever worked. Right. Uh, in this town or, or in, in Hollywood or any town. Um, but yeah, I, I think so. I, like I said, I mean, they're, they're the ones that you, you pour your heart into everything that you're doing. Yeah. Um, that's the least you can do. If you're going to ask somebody to spend time watching it, the least that you can do as an actor or director or producer or writer is to pour everything you have into it. And so that's what we do. But then sometimes they're not watched, so it's a little bit heartbreaking. Right. So you do get those heartbreaks, yeah. Well, you, this is certainly watched uh, to, to as uh, large a degree as anything can be right now. It's a huge show, and, and you're right in the center of it. I just saw, you know, with that comes a, another level in the career that not a lot of people get to experience. I think, and maybe I misinterpreted this, but you and your wife were recognized at a Knicks game by Ben Stiller. Is that how that played out? Or well, like so, well, so and you it, got recognized, yeah. But like, what, what happened there? What? I, I don't know if he knew exactly who I was. I think he was aware. I think he he, he was familiar. It seemed like he was familiar with my face. He had seen my yeah. face. Maybe so. I don't. I don't think he really knew uh, necessarily who I was. Okay. But but it turns out that his family uh, watches the show. And they knew exactly. Yeah, yeah. And he's he's such a sweet guy. I mean, brilliant guy. But also like, what a sweet, nice man. Like yeah. just a cool dude. <laughs> and yeah, because sometimes you know what's great is sometimes when you meet people like that. For me, it's always like it always reaffirms how I want to be yeah. when people might you know want to take a photo with me or something because it's just you know when you when you have these situations where there's someone that you revere someone that you admire that you've watched all of their work and then they're so nice um that's the best thing in the world isn't it? when they're nicer than you ever imagined anyone possibly could be so yeah he was really great and he wanted a photo <laughs> he wanted a photo with me to show his his family which was kind of cool and then of course we wanted one my wife and i wanted yeah, you one with him. of course yeah, yeah it's been still man you kidding yeah, it's so amazing because because it's it's interesting how that'll impact how you perceive or enjoy the work that they do going forward yeah, exactly sure. moving forward it's, yeah it, you can't if you have a, a negative experience it, it, you can't 
divorce that ex- that personal experience. It's hard to, isn't yeah, it? It's, it's hard like, to. Not to say that everyone has great days all the time. No, but. and it's impossible to have great days all the time. All right. Which brings me to the, the where I'm going with this is like, have you had now you a are a bad day? <laughs> well, not just have you had a bad day, but have you had any uh, challenges or difficulty navigating this world now where people recognize you all the time? You were working on a film in Canada, and I saw a whole list of tweets that were like, Justin's here, and I don't know what to do with myself. Justin's just roaming the streets working. They let the man yeah, live. I, I don't mean to, and I don't mean to do that to anyone. To have have me, my presence, you know, uh, means that you don't, you no longer know what to do with your body. I never want that to happen. Uh, it's happening right now in this room to several people. It's the don- <laughs> everyone's fine. Look at this is great. What a great room. This is wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, it's great. It's it's listen. It's part of it. Uh, some you know, I have places that I can go. I don't typically uh, visit places that would have photographers or things like that. That's not really my style. And there are places that I can go um, where I can get peace and quiet and, and be totally, I'm, a, I'm from Illinois, dude. Like, I, you know, I, I like to like sit at home sometimes and play PlayStation, so, uh, which nice shoes, by the way. I like to sit at home and like watch movies. My wife and I will stay, my wife is back there in the back, by the way. But we will, we will, we will stay home, uh, you know, quite often. And I, my daughter's 14, we have a pretty normal life. But then there are other things that come, come with it, which is the, the recognition and things like that. And it's great, people are very happy, typically to see you and, and complimentary of your work in the show. And I love the show and, and so it's, it's been nice. Um, well, yeah, it's hard for me, I mean, to, not to put any more pressure on you, but you just, you are such, uh, immediately uh, emitting a vibe of like, oh, he's such a good guy, that it's hard for me to picture a bad day, but you're human, everybody's human, but it's nice that you have those places you can go. Do you have a little disguise you wear? You're like a hat and sunglasses? I don't have, have a disguise. Have you reached that level of celebrity yet, where you've got to do the hat, the sunglasses? I don't have a disguise. <laughs> the, the, well, the thing, the movie, I'm shooting a film right now, like you said, in Ottawa, and one of the things that I'm doing, I hope I can say this. We're well, live. We're going to find but out. Yeah, go for it. Let's yeah. I to give you the heads up. I'm either shooting a movie in Ottawa right now or I've just been fired in, two, in, in, in 30 seconds <laughs> well, from I read that you were shooting movie. in Ottawa. That's, yeah, that's yeah. okay. Well, what I was going to say is that yeah, this, towards it. I have a, um, it's not a disguise, but my character doesn't look like me necessarily, okay. right? So I have to look a bit different. So I do have like, I got a wig and some facial hair that I'm putting on and all kinds of stuff. And I've sent photos of this to my friend, some of my friends and they're like, you should wear that when you go out. No one would ever know who you were. But I, but I like the interaction, so um, yeah, it's interesting. How, uh, how long were you, I know the amount of episodes, but how long were you on uh, Young and the Restless? You were on there for a couple of years, right? Yeah, I don't know if that episode count is even accurate. It seems like, I saw that too, but it seems yeah. like it would be way more than that. That's what I thought. I, I thought like, it would be more like 300 or something. I could be up, wrong. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I was on it a lot. Did you, uh, one of the, you know, working on daytime television, it's notorious uh, within the entertainment world for being almost like a like a, a, a actor's boot camp in a way. You're you're constantly getting lines. You're on it every day. It's just like one of the hardest things to do. Uh, when you look back on that experience, are there things that you took with you from there that you've uh, moving forward have like helped you in, in these future roles and these other things that you've been working on? Absolutely, and I would say that um, it is it it's it's different things. I think it can be an actor's boot camp. I really do. Yeah. Um, you can learn more if you want to learn how to how to be on set, um, what to and what not to do. Yeah. Go watch a soap opera. There are people that have been doing it for years and years and years that are expert craftsmen, wonderful. Like, got their lines. You get like 30, 40 pages a day. Crazy. Well, that's that's a lie. You get like twenty pages a day. I there, believed you. There was one day. I think I think I did like sixty something pages in one day. I was doing like four episodes. It was right when I was leaving, and they had to cram in a bunch of stuff. It was it was a, I don't even remember half of it. But there there's also a good example and, and a small group, uh, a good example of what you can watch when you do that of what not to do. There are people that don't take it seriously. They disparage it when they're there, and it's like there's really no room for that. So, but all in all. When you're on those sets, you get people that are happy to be there and learning. And but it can also be um, not so much an actor's boot camp, but it can also be like a wonderful career that you can yeah. that you can have for years and decades. And, and there are people that have done it and created these characters that you know three generations of people now have have grown up with. It's incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. 
so wild. I, you know, I often get to talk to people that have been on for a couple of seasons and stuff like that. And just to have three seasons of, of anything, yeah. much less this, is, is such a gift. So it's hard for me to even wrap my head around the idea of being married to a character for, for decades. It's, and, inc- it's incredible. It's like, an, like a second life. Yeah, how, exactly. You know? It's like point, the only legal way to do to have like live, lead, lead two lives and not get in trouble. That is the secret. Yeah. And you get paid for it. Get it's yourself a soap character. <laughs> it's not a bad way to do it. Um, you know, speaking of uh, of being an actor, learning about all the different things, the, you know, this was an actor season for you. You had such an amazing season. Kevin had such an amazing journey here. And, and we get to see you so many highs and lows, so many peaks and valleys. When you first found out all the ground you were going to cover in season three, how, how excited were you, man, for what you were going to get to do? Here? I'm very excited. Yeah. Uh, but also, it's daunting. Um, and it's a little bit intimidating. And I like that. I'm, I, I grew up my whole life playing sports, and so I like the sort of pressure uh, of those moments. And we, our writing staff, are, they are so incredibly talented, not only individually talented, but then you get them, you get this brain pool in a room, and it's like, when they're together, it's, I, it's incredible. It's the, it's the most wonderful thing I've ever seen. Um, and so when they start writing stuff together, and they're writing things for your character, and you're reading it, you're thinking, how great is this? And it is exciting, and it's wonderful, and it's exhilarating, but it's also daunting, because you're like, now I gotta go do it. You know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I better deliver, because if it's not good, it's because of me, not because of the writing. I mean, the writing's incredible. Yeah, Um, and you did an incredible job. You went to uh, to Vietnam this year. We did. Have you ever been there before, prior to this? I I don't think any of us had uh, had been to Vietnam, but yeah, Milo went, I went, Melanie went. Um, yeah, and we we shot a bunch of stuff, like beautiful stuff in Vietnam that you can't recreate in L.A. or anywhere unless you're in Vietnam. Um, <laughs> How lucky is that? It was We're great. There. I mean, the, <laughs> the only part about it that was a little bit like, oh, I wish we had a few extra days, is that they packed the schedule. They had to. So we got there. We like, caught up on our sleep for one day, and then we went to work, and then we were out. So I didn't really get to see much of it. Yeah. But what I did see, um, it's just a completely different culture. It's, it's, they're such a kind people, yeah. extremely kind. And, uh, and just, you know, I, we, try, we tried to like sort of immerse ourselves in the culture as much as we could, but we were there for such a brief time. But it, it's incredible. It, 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 I mean, like, I haven't been yet. I have intention to go, and it just looks like such an amazing, beautiful place. Yeah. I was very jealous when I found out that you guys were there. But that makes sense. That you, Time is money. You got to shoot. You're out there to work. They, they put you to work, and then you come right back. Yeah, because it is a tourist destination. So this is where people are going to vacation and yeah. stuff. And I was like, if we had, like, three extra days, it would it's be like, neat. Yeah. Carve out a little extra time. That's right. Now, go to the beach. Well, reason to go back. Um, I, I really want to get to the to Little, which you're in. We're going to do that in a second. But I have one last This Is Us thing that I have to bring yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, is spo- hang on real quick. Have we? all seen the season finale we're all on the same page okay good kevin's got a kid kevin's got a kid <laughs> oh yeah God. well that's exciting that's right very exciting that's i think amazing. it's good for him yeah. i think it's so cool I, th- there's that that clip that you played earlier about the little all the pieces coming together at yeah. different times in your life um and a lot of life is about timing and i look at the things that have happened to me in the past <laughs> five years and I think, what would have ha- what, where, where would I be, or what would those things be, <laughs> if I had to deal with those 15 years ago? Yeah. Um, or where would I be 10 years from now if those things wouldn't have happened? And so it is all about timing and these things that everything kind of falls into place. And, and then, lo and behold, the, the last scene of the show, you see yeah. this little kid running by and it's like Kevin is dad so do you guys I assume you film all of those future sequences because they're sprinkled throughout the whole season do Mm -hmm. you do all those in one day you just knock out here's everything that's going to happen in the future and then you guys got to sit on that all season all of these little secrets all these little spoilers you can't Uh, anybody not all of them no but there are some just for logistical purposes okay so we shoot children on our we don't shoot children (laughs) and that's what we'll cut out of this interview right there Justin Hartley says, this is us team, shoots children. What? No. It's a family drama. We, um, we, we, don't, we don't shoot children. We, oh. we film, we tape children to the wall. and then we even, no. Yeah, you don't even tape we, them anymore. It's 2019. You're but, yeah, but, <laughs> but what I'm saying is they're, they're getting older. They're getting bigger, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so just for the sake of having something with them, or if you want to shoot a certain time, uh, you know, you might need to shoot something way in advance. Uh, so there are instances where maybe that's happened. But, but no, we don't like just download a bunch of stuff in one day and shoot it. I mean, it really is like, I don't know how they're doing it, but they do come up with this thing. They, they have a timeline that they follow, of course, because uh, you don't want to you know, get into trouble yeah. with like, you know, 
plot points that don't make any sense timeline wise. But uh, but yeah, they do it all. Pretty much, it's done in sequence. Each episode is not necessarily done in sequence, but uh, within the episode. But the episodes are. Fascinating, man. Uh, all right, I could talk to you for another hour about This Is Us, but you have a really funny movie coming out this yeah. weekend. Uh, and we I actually leave. Kate, we have the trailer for that. Is that right? Let's cool. take a look at the trailer for Little, and then we'll talk about that before we go to the audience. <laughs> oh, man, make some noise. Come on, that's... It's a fantastic trailer. Yeah, yeah, they're they're hilarious. It's a, I mean, that it looks so funny. Yeah, uh, you is. have, and we get a little taste of it in there, uh, but you have a scene where Marseille, the, the 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 comedy, the bit is so delicate. Yeah, and the two of you play it perfectly uh, that it doesn't become creepy or weird. It just floats in this weird nebulous zone of the two of you right. having to like flirt, not flirt, because yeah, it's well, it was. So I, I think it, I honestly think it was harder for her because she's, you know, my character can be confused as to why this, yeah. what is, what, you know, but she's got to like sort of walk this fine line. She's, she's brilliant. She's really great. She really is. Do you know the story behind this? You know, it's her, this was her movie. Her idea. She's the, she's the EP. She's the EP. It's she's her like the movie. youngest EP in Hollywood. She's like, or I, she's like, like that. I have an idea for a film, and like, then here it is. Here it is. Yeah. So we're all working for her. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She. Uh, we had all of them were here uh, very recently, uh, and my colleague Brittany was talking to them, and uh, just we heard that story and so many incredible stories from set. I can't imagine how much fun it must have been working with three incredibly talented, brilliant people. Yeah. It's uh, great. It must and have been a real treat. It's fun, and it's also fun to get to do these these for me these projects that i do and you know when i'm not shooting the show yeah. uh that are just sort of a departure right it's just full on comedy and it's it's a it's a great little uh little thing i love seeing you in full on comedy there was a movie uh, a couple of, you were you had a role uh, uh in bad mom's christmas where <laughs> i yeah. didn't know you were going to pop up a ty swindell it was different than little it was uh, very different from little yeah but you do cut the point we don't have to go down the the story of ty swindell but yeah. you are so great at comedy your timing is great oh, you're, thanks. You're, and you you seem to have a real knack for it and i was surprised that we don't see more of just straight comedy with you in it do you enjoy doing that is it I love do doing that. it. I love doing it. I'm actually sort of looking for something. Uh, I'd like to do an action comedy. I think that would be a, that would be great, like a buddy comedy, action comedy. I would love to do something like that. Um, but yeah, yeah, always looking for something like that to do. I I enjoy it. It's difficult. It's um, it's fun when you get it right, but there's nothing worse than when you get it wrong, yeah. right? And you know you got it wrong, and you're dying. And ever and but with with film though, right? With with TV, you can r keep redoing it. And then there are times where you're like, maybe I just don't get it. Why is no one laughing? And that's a difficult thing too, because when you're when you're telling a joke in front of an audience, obviously you hear the response right away. But when you're on camera, no one can really laugh, right? So it's this quiet. But I enjoy it. It's it's fun to be in a room and watch something like that and hear laughter. You know, that's well, that's fun. That's the other part uh, of what I'm curious about. Coming in, you're you're doing comedy. When when it is that we see you doing comedy, you're always doing it with such very funny people, people that know comedy and know what they're ah, doing. Ah, see, yeah. now you figured me out. I'm that's not funny trick. at all. I'm smart. I, yeah, I'm not funny at all. No, yeah, I mean, come on. When you're playing off of you know this comedic gene you're like what are you gonna do you stand there and kind of just follow what they're doing it's it's easy I mean, yeah well, you have easy but you know what i'm saying you have Issa Rae, you have regina right there on set uh ne never mind all the other countless funny people behind the film that are mm -hmm. working with you uh it, do you we, do you find yourself with these sort of internal anxieties about comedy when you're surrounded by these really funny people do you try to find time to talk to them about it and find out how do they handle those things how do they navigate those difficult parts of being funny because even the funniest person has a has an yeah, okay. I just I'm, I I kind of watch and I and I yeah and I observe and I I've been lucky to work with directors and writers that will sort of they give you the script and they're also open to kind of your interpretation and so if it doesn't all have to come from them yeah. they're confident enough to realize that there are some things that might be might happen that don't come directly from them and they let it live and they let it breathe and they kind of be and it becomes part of the show or part of the movie um and, and so I've been lucky. Gosh, my whole career to work with people that are sort of collaborative in that in that regard. 
Very cool. Well, uh, Little is coming out this Friday, oh. April 12th. Uh, it looks amazing. Uh, my colleague, Brittany, saw it. She said it is amazing. It's so great, it's yeah. really great. Uh, yeah, people should be really excited. They seem really excited. So there's the big takeaways. Before we go to audience Q&A, Little this Friday. Um, this is us. It just wrapped up, but you can watch it all on Hulu. So go ahead and catch up if you haven't. And if you haven't, and I spoiled something for you. I apologize. Uh, and the big one, happy birthday, Mandy Moore. That's uh, right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go to our audience questions. The first one's going to come to us from Twitter. This is at Pam Grohl. She says, hey, Justin, is there any way you'd think of coming back to Y&R uh, after This Is Us has completed its run? Someone new is coming to take over your part of Adam, but who knows what may happen in a couple of more years? That's a sweet question, but a little bit ominous for that other person. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> I would say, I would say, uh, I'm a fan of the genre, yeah. and I would say this. Embrace the character and if you and the story that's being told and if you do that what quickly follows is you'll find yourself embracing the actor Qui very quickly these recasts are very tricky they're 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 hard i've done it it's difficult but if you embrace the story that's being told and you embrace the show the show and the character um then you'll embrace the actor. I th they don't. They have casting directors that know what they're doing, that are very good at their jobs, that cast the right people for the roles. So to say that there's only one person that could play a certain, you know, character is is um, is not true. I mean, I'm this. The, whoever they found is going to be the right guy. For sure. That being said, once that guy is the right guy and is Adam, would you ever, as another role, just pop in, just wave, hey? Just like as a, just oh, as a ghost or something, <laughs> yeah, or yeah, yeah I mean, like any, crazy. Anything's, anything's possible. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. I wouldn't want to step on anyone's toes. No, of course yeah. not. If there was a way with the, to do it with the complete absence of toe stepping, you'd be open to it. Open to it, sure. There we go. Sure. I got you. We got an answer. Perfect. Okay, I got what at three in the room. Fantastic. Let's get to him. First one with a microphone. You're pointing. I'm looking. Who's got you? a microphone? Yeah. Go for it. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good. What's your name? My name's Michelle. Michelle, Justin. Really big fan. Thank you. My question is, we got to see a little glimpse of Kevin's future in the finale. Mm -hmm. What are your hopes for your character to get to that point? Yeah, well... The house seemed pretty sick, uh, so that's good. Hopefully he's, um, it, so it seems like his career might be going. I, shot, I saw like a shiny trophy on the wall there, so maybe that seems to be, you know, sort of like telling on how his career is going. But I hope he finds, I'm curious to find out how he's doing personally with his struggles, um, with his sort of his mental illness, his, the struggles that he has with addiction. Uh, he's got this kid now. And also his relationships with his brother, uh, his sister, his mom is obviously ailing. I like that I saw that she was there in his house. So that sort of gives me a hint that maybe he's taking care of her. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to know, is he married? Why haven't we seen him? Did he get injured? Does he look different? Did it, what happened? Um, there's, some, there's a reason why we haven't seen him. Uh, and so I'm curious to know about all of that. That's a good question. That's a really good Thank question. You. Yeah. Do you ever find when you do those moments, do you, you just talked about like, oh, I saw the trophy, I saw this. Before you guys even film, do you kind of scope out the set and look for little clues of things like, oh, there's none of these things, so maybe I don't do that anymore. Well, they also, like that. Yeah. they're also really clever about the way, so there's a whole, the show also gets edited, obviously, and put together in different ways. So what you, when you're on set, what you're feeling and what you're seeing is a little different than what you see. It's not scored on set, obviously, so the music sets the tone and all that kind of stuff too. So I will, I'll watch the show sometimes and get clues from the music even that, that, that were not there when you were, when you were filming. It's really cool. Yeah. Uh, Kate, two more. Next one is right here. Go for it. Hi, Justin. How are you? So What's my name? mom, oh, Natalie. Natalie, Justin. Nat yeah. My mom wanted to let you know that she loved this. Uh, she was like, it's the only show I'll ever been to watch. So <laughs> okay. <she> was, <laughs> well, tell your mom thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> um, my question for you was how different was working with the cast of This Is Us from working with the cast of Little? They're all different. They're all different. Um, I mean, just individually, you know, people are different, right? Everyone's, every single encounter that you have is going to be different. But I will tell you the similarity is it, it was a collaborative effort. And it was this sort of, it, uh, for little, obviously I didn't have as big of a part as I do on This Is Us. So it's a harder job kind of to come in and everyone's already been there for a while and there's already this family and you're kind of coming in as the new guy being like, hey, let's do this thing here. But they're all... Uh, the similarities, that's not your question, but um, were that, you know, they're embracing, you know, we have guest stars on our show on This Is Us and we'll, the first, I know how hard it is to be a guest star on a television show, I've done it. It's the hardest job in Hollywood. 
you have a fan, it's like, it's like moving in the middle of a high school year. It's terrible. Um, it can be terrible. It can also be the most rewarding thing. You don't have a lot of creative input when you're a guest star on a TV show because you kind of just are there to say the lines. But if you get the right environment and the right show and you come in, they're open to it, and there's a reason they hired you. So both of the both of the um, the casts were similar in that regard, but just uh, the differences were. Um, I think the pace of the pace of filming a, a movie is a little bit slower. You get a little more time, and and the, just the age range of the cast that we had, you know. Uh, but but yeah. So I hope that kind of answered your question. No, it did. It's okay, fine. good. And by the way, tell your mom I'm I'm happy with how enthusiastic she is about. <laughs> about binge she said it's the only show the you only said. show <laughs> and now I know I love that that's Thank a big you. deal right now there are tons of shows for her to commit to just one guys there's one show <laughs> there's one show no there are and a lot of not only a lot of shows a lot of really great shows really great shows so it's it's flattering not if you ask her mom not if you ask your mom there's one great one show. show it's right here <laughs> Uh, Kate, we have one question left. Thank you for that. Let's see. It is going to be over there. Go for it. Jen, it's from me. Hi, I'm Sam. Sam, how um, are you? I've been a fan of yours ever since my mom let me watch Passions in kindergarten. She let you watch Passions in kindergarten? In kindergarten, yes. I'm glad so... that you turned out okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad that oh you turned gosh, out Oh, my gosh. No, I still love it to this day. I was so sad when I was in third grade when it ended. Mm. Um, but, but yeah, through that. And then you were on Smallville and like couldn't have been more psyched than when This Is Us came out. And I was like, oh, my gosh, he's back. Yeah. I've been here for this. Um, we already kind of talked about it. I was going to ask how your soap opera beginnings kind of informed or helped you through your career. Um, we already kind of talked about that. So No, it's a good question. And, um, and then I can elaborate on it more yeah. sort of for you. Yeah, um, right. Well, I tell you what, uh, one of the things that you learn is that the importance of knowing, this sounds kind of ridiculous because of course this is important, knowing your lines, but I don't mean knowing your lines as in like, yeah, I know the words I'm supposed to say today. I've got the dialogue. I know it. I mean, knowing it upside down, inside out, backwards. I used to do a thing where I would go through all my dialogue and I would say, and I think I got this from, I got this from an actor. I forgot who said it, but I was like, oh man, that seemed, that seems like obsessive and then I tried to do it and then I, I started doing it. I don't necessarily need to do it anymore, but there are times when I need to do it. And what it is, is this. You go through the, the, your, your, your dialogue and you, you remember every, the first letter of every word that you're supposed to say and you can go through it like T-P-O-I-M and that's how you know you know your dialogue, right? And what that allows you to do then is the, you, ha, you don't ever have to worry about the words. So you're a lot, you can just sort of be in the moment without thinking about your words. And now you can start learning it. And now you can start working on it once you've learned it, right? That's always been my process. And I think I, I got that from soap operas, which was just know the dialogue so well that then you can actually start working on it. And then it will look authentic. Because um, honestly, the, 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 just the amount that they produce every single day on soaps, it's hard to make it look authentic unless you put extra work into it is is that trick that you do like <clears throat> learning the first letter is that less about knowing the letter but once you can do that you then know it frees frees you up frees you up like, then you can let it go yeah, i've got it it's it go. already yeah. it's that that's for me it is. is yeah i also do this crazy thing where i will memorize um dialogue by rotely and by that i mean i just mem i just literally it will just Hopefully it does. You don't want to execute it that way when you're doing it, like a, uh, you know. But um, but it helps you memorize the words, and then again, then then I can start working on it and figure out what all of that means. And then you start to realize, oh my God, there's nine different ways I could do this, twenty different ways I could do this. And so it, it becomes this thing that's a little overwhelming when you have too much dialogue to this thing that becomes way too overwhelming because there's so much that you can do with it to something that once you start working on it, it narrows back down to a more specific. Thing. And I think probably every every actor is different. And my wife is also an actor, and she her process is a little bit different than mine, um, but it works for her. And her process doesn't work for me, and my process does not work for her. So I think everyone's you know everyone's different, but the work ethic is the same. And I think that's what you get from soap operas. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. That was a great question. Those were all great questions. You are a wonderful, great audience. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for coming out and hanging out yeah, with us. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to wrap things up. Yeah, you can applaud. We're going to do it again in a second, but this is a 
It's a two applause moment. That's one of two. That's perfect. Um, we're allowed this, one more. We're, we're, gonna, we're, we're allowed we're, one more. We're, we're going to do one more. We'll, we got, let's earn it. We, let's earn it. Don't just give them away. Don't, yeah. Yeah, no. Be frugal with it. Be, be, be frugal selective. with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and, all right, listen, we're going to earn it because uh, this is us. Again, as we mentioned, if you haven't or if you want to rewatch it and look for more clues, uh, head on over to Hulu. It's all up there right now. Uh, this Friday, of course, Little is going to be in theaters. And I'd be crazy not to say one more time, happy birthday to Mandy Moore, right? It'd be crazy enough. If we're yeah. going to earn that last one, let's, let's applaud for that. There you go. Uh, and for you, sir. Everybody join me in thanking the great Justin Hartley for being here. Come on. Thank you very much. <laughs>